everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the Geo Alarm system and how to program in the combo Geo SCO2 uh, smoke and CO2 detector into the system. Um, it's very easy, has the walkthrough that comes up on the screen, just like every single other sensor that goes into this. Um, super easy. Um, it's actually kind of fun to program them in. So, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and hit the hamburger icon in the top left hand corner. It'll ask you for your master code. Mine is 1234. Okay, so once you get in there, you're going to see uh, all of the icons there. Of course, you want to go into devices. Once in devices, you'll see a listing of anything you already have programmed. If you don't have anything programmed, then you probably won't see anything. So, go ahead and hit the plus sign there. Okay, so now you're going to choose what device you want to add. In this case, we are adding the smoke and CO2 detector. Go ahead and click on that. I apologize ahead of time about the noise here. This is going to get a little loud, but you have to press and hold down the silence slash test button, and it will enroll into Now you're going to choose where you want this device to go. Uh, in my case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll put it in the master bedroom. Okay, it's asking you to install it. It actually shows you a little bit of a diagram on how to install it as well. Um, I'm not going to install it obviously, so I'm going to go ahead and hit done. Alright, and there's our smoke uh, slash CO2 detector. It's in there. We'll go ahead and tamper it just to make sure it shows up in there. Alright, so we have our tamper alarm here. We'll go ahead and we'll get this restored. And now it's uh, no longer in trouble. Um, also, you saw the panel tamper pop up there while I was doing this. Uh, my panel is uh, tampered currently, so that's why that trouble popped up. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you add it. Let's go ahead and get it deleted out. So go ahead and click smoke slash CO there. Then you're going to click the one that you have. Now, if you don't want to delete it, I, I've told you this in other sensor videos, but if you're just watching this one for the first time, um, uh, you can flip this little active switch here. This switch will disable the sensor rather than delete it if you want to, you know, re-enable it at a later time. Makes it easy if you're, you know, having a sensor malfunction or something like that and you're just waiting on a replacement device. You can just go ahead and flip that switch and make it inactive. Uh, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and reactivate it and I'm going to delete it. There's a section for delete in there. So go ahead and click delete. It has now been removed from the system. All right, we'll go ahead and we'll exit out of programming. Uh, it is no longer programmed into the system. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. But that is how you program in the Geo SCO2 into the Geo Alarm control panel. Have a great day. Take care. Please like and subscribe to our page for helpful programming and installation videos, product reviews, monitoring, products, and more. Visit www.geoarm.com or call 877-443-6276. That's www.geoarm.com or 877-443-6276. Geoarm, the worldwide leader in DIY security.